So this week we had the Birds of Prey trailer drop, and I liked that teaser. It's getting a lot of crap on the internet, but that 20 seconds it? one, oh, it's oh, been, yeah. yeah, it's the internet. See, I've, I've had my head down, like, working on shit, and so I sometimes I miss one. I'm like, what? Okay, talk me through this. <laughs> the people are angry. The they're, people they're, are they're angry. saying that it, they shouldn't have just showed a camera test, that we can't tell who the characters are, that we want to see Ewan McGregor in the mask, but it's a... They're shooting the movie right now! It was day two of filming. I thought it was really cool, much like the Joker, how they showed us a camera test, so we got to experience a little taste. I thought it was smart. It's a tease for mm -hmm. a tease. It's also one third of a minute. So to be mad <laughs> at a third of a minute, I don't understand how you can be so angry. But for me, I thought it was a really good opportunity to give us like a, just a morsel, a little bit. So no, I like yeah, it. no, I completely agree. Like the people, are, like Koi said, complaining online, but it's just like, bro, this is not. None of this is going to be in the actual movie. It's just like test footage. Just like, hey, we're showing you like the the production has started. Not, oh, this is like our first look, official looks at Harley Harley Quinn and all that. Because she's going to have multiple outfits. Like all of those aren't going to be their final looks. So mm -hmm. it was a little bit frustrating, but I thought they looked fantastic. And seeing Black Canary, like seeing her for the first time, like live action like that, yeah. it, it's, it's cool mm -hmm. to see some of these characters finally pop up on live screen. So. Just just, just and on chill big out. screens, yeah, we've had a couple incarnations of Black Canary now, but we've we've seen like she's had a lot of different versions. Black Canary's had a long life, and so I got I like I mean I kind of flipped out over this. I loved it. I don't know whether it's just like you know y'all who've been watching the show for a while know that I had mixed feelings about Suicide Squad, but I have been really positive to my own surprise about the whole development of this movie. It's not the Birds of Prey movie I would have designed 10 years ago, mm -hmm. but that movie is not in the picture. Oracle, like, I, I did my mourning for that in 2011. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, but the, the movie they're putting together has my full attention. Absolutely. I'm so interested in it, and we know a lot from this tease, which, again, is not a trailer, is not a teaser, is not a finished movie product, but is a thing that says, here's what we're doing here. Here's a vibe. Here are the beginnings. Beginnings. Here's Rosie frickin' Perez. For me, it was like a sizzle. It was literally just the the, the book cover. I, I I wanted to just know what characters I was dealing with. I wanted the world to get excited, and it was trending, which means now people that didn't know about Birds of Prey, they get to know about this movie. So. And we do get some legit information in here. Uh, we get the visions of some of what they're doing with each. We see Hunters has a crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, we see uh, Cassandra Cain uh, looking real adorable. Yeah. Uh, we see. Uh, I, I was particularly interested in, in Journey Small Bell, uh, her Black Canary. We know now that they are going with at least some version of the like rock band singer Black Canary. Yeah. Um, you want to check out Annie Wu's version from the short-lived solo series that Black Canary had in DCU, which was like 2014, 15, something like that. Um, it only ran like 12 issues, um, but it seems clear that some of that DNA is bleeding in here, uh, and, and I'm really interested by that. Um, I'm also is. excited to have it be proper, not like leaked photos. I'm glad it's not. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of paparazzi photos. I'd much rather see these things with lighting and with sound and enjoy it. So I think it's a smart so move. So here's a weird thing. Rather than having the photos leaked and not having control of what it looks like, being like, we're throwing our own damn photo shoot and this is what the Birds of Prey looks like, it's the meta narrative of the film. Yeah. It's the fabulous emancipation of Margot Robbie playing Harley Quinn and controlling shit. 20 seconds. Am I way over, like, is this way too much for me to be excited about a 20 second teaser that could still go, like, they're making the movie, it could still suck. I don't think it's I, going to. No, I don't think it's going to either because we have uh, I loved Bumblebee and the writer from Bumblebee, Bumblebee she's, gonna, she's handling yeah, so she's she's handling this and writing this script so I have complete confidence in her and, and the story she's going to tell because I was already I already had faith in this movie but now that she's behind it and she's going to be putting her magic on it I think they're going to knock it out of the park because I think this new DC wave there it feels like they're really letting the the directors and the screenwriters have full control of it and not they're not trying to barge in and be like We're, we need to do this we need to do that to please the audience but they're just letting them tell their story so so I think we're going to get something real special with this. Yeah. What do you think absolutely. of Mr. Zaz? I want more scars. Uh, I want a little bit more. Do you think I, they're just neck down? Do you I think, think that's what they're pulling on us? I'm hoping they're just going to be CGI and we're going to get them later. Okay. I, I, I okay. think that it might be like a, a, a sizzle isn't going to show us the full form character. It's like we didn't get Black Mask in the mask. Mm -hmm. I feel like Zaz is not going to look like that when we finally get to him. I thought it was an okay image. I like I like the bleached hair. I like that, like, that street guy, but I do think he's going to have to be more scarred up if he's playing Zaz. It will be, we were just talking about Punisher, so we, we have to be fair to all so the extremely handsome. handsome people that we're supposed to believe are heavily scarred. Billy Russo with that one little cut where he's like, mmm. He just looked like edgier. It's just like an Australian <laughs> lion fight. Now he just looks more mysterious. Uh, I do think, like, I mean, 
I, I will, any couple of frames of Ewan McGregor, like he's bringing that presence, he's Ewan McGregor, he doesn't really have to, <laughs> like he can do just do, look do at the camera and be like, yes, I'm investing this person with personness. Uh, so I don't know, reasonable or not, I am very excited by this glimpse. And, and just guys, a, a shot of Margot Robbie, I'm always, you know what I mean, like hers Harley Quinn is always fun for me, like these images are fun, I'm excited for this movie. When do you think we'll get our first trailer though? Uh, two months. Two months. I think. Two I, months after filming the movie? <laughs> When it doesn't come out till next February? I th well, six months out from, from the first, it comes out in February. So that's August, right? How long is it till August? I don't know, more than two months. I'm thinking they'll give us a first teaser that's like a minute long in like two months. Oh, Since fine. once they wrap this, once everything's done, I feel like they've been putting out more trailers for Maybe better San Diego Comic-Con probably get something there probably. I think like, yeah, Comic-Con's in July. I think that would be a good time to drop. Yeah, that makes some, sense. Some birds of prey excitement. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm really excited for it. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why the world got so upset, but I, I think more is better. I, I do, like, they, they're going with Midriff Huntress, but Midriff Huntress has, like, there's an actual Gail Simone issue of Birds of Prey where she's like, I didn't do all these ab crunches for nothing. And I remember being like, that's dumb, but also brilliant. Like, I don't know. But it, but it, it really... Somehow they've got me on board, which is probably part of what this teaser was supposed to do. So good job.